if you guys ever had that kind of sleep that you just can't wake up no matter how many alarms you set <laughs> i just had that right now i had to set like six alarms and i woke up on the last one yo this is s1 arena this is gonna be s1 arena and you, as you notice right up there that's friend zone you're wondering how did i get my name back and how am i a lolly <laughs> First, I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Althusa. It was the one that helped me with an S1 account for me to use to play, you know. So what I'm going to do is, I'm still going to have my old rivalry account. I'm going to be using to play Arena and stuff. But I'm going to use this S1 account for some collaborations with Althusa and maybe Kama. Those are two other Dragon Raja YouTubers. And I'm going to also be using this account to see just how well I can play the new class, the Moon Lord that's coming out today or quite soon. I think tomorrow. I don't know, man. This, this is confusing me. So we're right here in arena and let me just show you guys my character i'm 2.2 million rating which is awesome but check this out even with this i am still ranked 360 seconds <laughs> currently in class i am the reaper i just switched to the reaper and i am 12. i thought i should debut as a reaper and i have i think 13 minutes left on the clock so we need to hurry guys Okay, our very first deal, who is it against? A visionary, of course it is. <laughs> Wait, I didn't get super armor from this. Wait, what? what's going on? Is it just me? Nope. I didn't get super armor at all from that. One sec, I gotta check something real quick. I also didn't go invisible, are you kidding me right now? Wait, it's not me, there's no super armor, what, what the hell is going on? Oh, come on! Really? Why is it this for Arena? <laughs> okay. Oh, dang it. Sorry. My bad, my bad. I'm right here. I'm not running away. Seriously, man. Why are you attacking my clone? <laughs> come over here. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, my God. This is the first deal. In of course, my first deal ends up being like this. You know what? I'm going to check everything. I bet probably I'm on Dragon Slayer as well because. Who is this Clash of Sword build for a reader? Seriously, <laughs> I actually just made this and I thought it would stay on that. Even the EX was wrong. Scotch and King's Ward. Ah, oh, man. Let's check out. Let's check out the refinements real quick. Set is kind of okay. I knew it. I was a dragon. <laughs> Adam, that's nice compensation. I'll take it. So let's talk Moon Law, the new class. I like to call it the Fencer because it kind of looks like a Fencer in real life. So um, I think one thing we can all agree is this class is gonna be OP. <laughs> I mean, if I have a question to ask, is why are the new classes always OP? Like seriously, why? Why are they, why are they doing this, man? Barely people use Soul Dancer anymore, or, or even the Gunslinger, because the new classes just empower all the old classes. So for those of you that don't know, um, let me just summarize it real quick. The Moon Law is a new class, kind of like the Blade Man side, it's a melee class that has been brought into this game. I think this player is on auto. Yeah, I think they are on auto. But it's not surprising that almost every illusionist uses auto. It's the best thing for illusionists. If you don't use auto, you won't be able to press your skills fast enough and spam. Yeah, I can see them moving now, but they are still on auto. <laughs> anyway, what I was actually saying is, I think I'll put Blade on this person. So the Moon Law, I think it's like the Blade Master, but unlike the Blade Master that focuses on buffing its defenses and instead of receiving um, attacks, it just tries to dodge all the attacks, you know, dodge the attacks, buff its defense and focus on stunning the opponent and reflecting damage. That's the Blade Master. From what I've seen, all the videos I've seen, I think this player as well as, they just bled themselves to death. As, like, <laughs> that was a lot of damage. Anyway, from what I've seen, I think the Moon Law actually doesn't do like blade master in defense aspect but it gave up all that for a lot of damage i think that's what it did i'm not sure yet until the class actually comes out but that's my speculation so it's a melee class and from some of the things i've seen online i noticed that the new class can actually just walk out of the illusionist cage kind of like fighter 
also since it's a melee class and it's kind of like a blade master that needs to be quite close range unlike the Florimans and stuff I'm also thinking the Reaper and the Assassin will still be a good way to go if you are free to play in order to counter that kind of class So yeah, definitely Reapers and Assassin will still be a good choice for free replay because they're based on strategy and they can help you overcome most of these tactics. This is a Florimancer. What I like doing against Florimancers is I like just absorbing some of the damage first and then undoing it. Because if you can undo all this damage they spam, then everything is useless for the Florimancer. They gotta wait till they can spam again. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I was thinking I would teleport and uh, go invisible so I would just put the minefield on their flower because that's where they usually go when they go invisible. But I didn't! So definitely some classes that we suffer against this new- oh this is a fighter. Okay if I was a whale, I think this is one of the classes I would so much love to use. They are not all, they are not AFK as well and just keep them- oh my goodness they are also using the EX! I love these new strategy fighters app using the EX um, Judgment and also using Bleed. But you just gotta keep in mind you're not the only one that can bleed and fighters suffer a lot to bleed. <laughs> Alright. This is the usual playstyle guys. No judging. There's no way I'm gonna fight that mecha and then come out and fight the fighter. <laughs> I know he's gonna come chasing me very soon. Where is he? Alright, there he is. Perfect. <laughs> That's my EX saving me right there. It's been a while since I've actually used a Reaper and felt this strong. Like, it's been a while. Mostly, I have to be sneaky and strategic with my main class because I'm free to play there. And, well, what, what can we say? We're free to play. <laughs> that explains it all. Is he running away? Oh, he just didn't know where I was. <laughs> that was kind of weird. But it's kind of understandable as well. Alright, he should be entering his robot anytime now. See, if fighters are the same like, ratings with Reaper, it's going to be quite difficult to defeat them, mainly because of how buffy the tank, the mecha is, and the fact that they can gain health from it right now. Also, I think, I don't, I'm not certain about this, I almost bit my tongue there, but I'm kind of sure that the fighter's damage has been increased. Wait a minute. He's gonna go after... Oh, I didn't switch! I knew it! He went after my clone! He attacked my clone with his skill and then came after me with his default attack. Cause this is a smart fighter right here. Can I leave him there? Oh no, I was revealed. It's no problem. You see how, what I'm talking about? See the health he gained just from entering his mecha? That should be nerfed a little. I'm, I'm not trying to say that it's OP, but it kind of is OP. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, now we have Albedo again. My thoughts on this new class and how it will change Raja is the usual. First, this is what gonna, what's going to happen. After this update, like 90% of the players are going to be using the new class. And the other remaining percentage is going to be split between players that just don't freaking care. <laughs> this person is bleeding themselves to death again. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's going to split between players that don't care and players that actually want to counter the new class so they'll be using other classes like the reaper and assassin to try see if it's better than the new class if you can counter it since the new class is melee they're also going to try using the illusionist but when they find out that the new class can just pass through the illusionist cage the number of illusionists in the game is going to reduce and i think more players are going to be using things like the visionaire um the new class and maybe the, the assassin or reaper most free replays we either stick with the visionaire and the reaper necessity and shield will be out now <laughs> it's easy to calculate shields i think fenrir and the others just gotta keep it in mind you'll be able to trick your opponent i guess <laughs> right what class a soul dancer okay first big shout outs to anybody still using soul dancer out there not saying Soul Dancer is bad, I'm just saying there are some classes that makes this game feel like you're playing it on easy or hard mode and we all know the mode Soul Dancers are playing this class in. <laughs> it's not easy out there, so you guys are really awesome. I also think this player is auto, I mean, 
make, make sense actually. Some people just go auto for arena to not stress themselves and save PvP points. I kind of do that once in a while. <laughs> Here we go. I think that we fought this player before. Am I just lucky in my matchings or are most people not playing in S1 like playing Arena? I think I'm just lucky. Because I can see a 4.2 million rating in the rankings, right? <laughs> and I think we can end this real quick. For oh, thank you, Minefield. Minefield was one that dealt that insane damage to wrap it up. Pretty cool. I don't think we can have one more duel after this. I'm not sure. A few moments later. Alright, I don't think we can fight anymore. Arena is over. So that's all we have. We were able to rank second? Really? Because <laughs> actually came at 21.47. So we're, tw we're 13 years, 13 or 12 minutes late. I didn't expect to actually rank top 5. Not to talk of top 3. That's insane. I don't think we can also pass that first player, Strikana. That was 15 wins out of 16 deals. That's insane. Like that's that's either a very strong reaper or a very good player. Or maybe both of them. I think, can you picture that? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna check and see just how strong Strikana is. I'm actually intrigued right now. Right, let's go to rankings. Strikana Reaper, right? Oh yeah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that's my two cents about the new class and my thoughts about what's going to be happening in Raja for a bit. The new class, of course, we're going to try it out and make a guide video about it. But as usual, guys, please be a little patient because this guide video is going to take like a couple days before it comes out. I don't want to release wrong information as usual. I want to check out every aspect of the new class. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions or requests, please don't forget to drop them down there in the comment section. I read all of them. I respond to you if needed or make a video if necessary. As always, guys. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.